what's up all you lovely learners out there in learning land tyler from 10 coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single wednesday and saturday if you like this kind of content make sure to hit that bell and hit subscribe so you never miss a lesson today we're breaking down cotton fields originally a lead belly tune but we're going to do it in the style of ccr tasty intro riff and everything i'll have the tabs on the screen but if you want something you can print out and follow along tabs lyrics full song sheet for this tune and all our songs you can get them by becoming a patreon up here in the corner but if you came just because you love credence or lead belly or you think cotton is the fabric of our lives that's cool i dig it and i respect it why don't you grab the ukulele Brain and attention span. When you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in. All right, so here we go. Um, we're gonna start on the third, on the off beat after the third beat. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four, and. And what I'm doing here is I'm going pointer finger, ring finger, fourth fret on the C, to fourth fret on the C, to the fifth fret up here on the E string. Okay. Now, if you can get that pointer finger up there like that, it might even be a little easier. So that's gonna be one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and. So we're gonna play this on the first beat um, three times in a row, one, two, three, and then we're gonna grab the seventh fret of the E and pull to the fifth fret. This is a great example. You can see how that starts to bend right there. See how it's not straight? And then I'm releasing. So up to there we get one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and. Okay? Then we're gonna have to jump up with our ring finger and grab the ninth fret of the G string here. And we're gonna bend to that 11th tonality. And that's gonna happen like one, and so you'll bend on the one and then release on the and one and you're gonna get way up here and grab the seventh fret so we get one and two seventh fret of the um a string to nine one and two and three back to that same one four so that one measure we get one and two and three and four up to there nice and slow we get one two three and four and one oops up to there nice and slow we get one two three and four and one two three four and one and two and three four Bar seven and seven of the E and the A. One, two, move it down to five, five, three, four, and then it's gonna be pointer finger, fourth fret, middle finger on the fifth fret, one. So from the top, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one. A little quicker. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Around the same speed this time, but I'm not going to count. I'll count you in. One, two, three, and. When I was an itty bitty baby, mama used to rock me in the cradle. All right? Okay, our chords. D major. A major. And E7. Only three chords for the whole tune. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down the chord progression for the verse. It is going to be two measures of the A chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One of the D. One, 
two, three, four, and then one another of the A. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next four bars are gonna be two over A and two over E7. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E7, two, three, four. E7, two, three, four. Then the next four measures are gonna be just like the first. Two of A, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. And the last four will be A for one, E seven for one, A for two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so the next piece we're gonna work out is the strum pattern. Um, and we're just gonna go a classic down, down, up, up, down, up. It's a pretty quick tempoed song, so this strum pattern works great. Why don't we just do it over the A chord, um, nice and slow, four times. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Okay? All right, so why don't you apply that strum pattern through the whole verse? Now, when you actually sing, the first two measures of A are gonna be a cappella, which means singing only, but why don't we go ahead and just strum through the whole thing and then we'll look at the lyrics. Here we go from the top. One, two, three, four. Cool, easy. So why don't we go ahead and put the lyrics up and sing through the first verse together. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and try to sing through the first verse. We'll let the first part ring out, but it doesn't hurt to strum an A chord. And this is pretty high. Um, this first opening phrase is kind of tricky to sing. When I was a little baby, my mama used to rock me in the cradle. In the morning, cotton fields back home. Piano in the moon, cotton fields back home. When the cotton gets a rotten, can't pick up ever much cotton. All right, and then we get to the chorus. Now, the chorus, three quarters of it is the same. The only difference is we're going to start off with two strum patterns of a D and then two of an A, but then the rest is going to be the same. So why don't we go ahead and just put the lyrics up and sing through the chorus together. Well, when that cotton gets so rotten, you can't pick up very much cotton. In them old cotton fields back home, it was down in Louisiana, about a mile from Texas, I That is the chorus. So as you can see, very similar to the verse. Um, and then it just alternates for the rest of the song, verse and chorus, verse and chorus. So why don't we play the intro lick, the first verse and the chorus, and that'll be our play along. If you can put all those pieces together, you can rock this whole tune out. So let's take it from the top. Cool, so let's just take it from the top. Here we go. When I was a little bitty baby, mama used to rock me in the cradle In the morning, cotton fields back home it was down in Louisiana, about a mile from Texarkana In the morning, cotton fields back home When that cotton gets around And then you'll go right back into acapella, the next verse. And that is the whole tune, all right?
Easy strumming song, plus a tasty riff. So there's something in there for all the levels. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Again, think about becoming a Patreon, printable tabs, and it will accelerate your learning and help you learn this whole tune even quicker. All right, everybody, until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on loving life. It's all good, my friends. Have a lovely day. All right, everybody, that was it. Thank you so much for watching to the very end, 10thumbspro.com. We appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. Maybe you want some private lessons one-on-one. -on -one. Step your game up. That's cool. I can help you. Just reach out, 10thumbsproductions at gmail.com, and we can set up a time. Um, 10 Thumbs t-shirts up in there. Become a Patreon. Printable tabs for this tutorial and all our tutorials just by becoming a Patreon. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. Starts at just a dollar a month. What else? If you subscribed... That's all I got for you. Have a lovely day and keep on rocking and rolling and keep on jamming those tasty riffs. Have a lovely day. Take care.